What's up, people? Today we are talking about a brand new comic book series, a brand new React series. We are starting it all right here today. It is not about Miles. Don't worry. Don't go anywhere. Don't unsubscribe. I swear, I promise, he's coming back next week. Like I said, we're going to talk about Miles and his time with Carnage next week. Promise you that's coming. But I figure, you know what, we, we gotta add more to this. We gotta add more to this. And for me, what better way to do that than to start a React series with another one of my favorite characters, another web slinger, and one that you may or may not have heard of, that is Cindy Moon, AKA Silk. Now, if you don't know who Silk is, I understand she's not exactly one of the most well-known comic book characters. And if we're being honest, she's pretty new. She's about nine years old in terms of comic years and all that. She's one of the many web slingers that you might find in Marvel Comics. She's been in and out of, you know, consistent issues uh, and had a lot of different writers over the years. Um, nothing super concrete because, you know, again, not a super popular character, but one of my favorites regardless, which is why I think she deserves a lot more attention. This year in the year of 2023, she's actually getting a new run with the same writer from last year, Emily Kim, who did, in my opinion, a very, very good job with her. So I'm really excited about this new series and honestly, like without further ado, guys, let's just get into it. But before we do, make sure to like this video if you do, because it only makes sense to do so. And if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe, hit that bell so you never miss a video. And without further ado, I'm Jeff Wall. Let's talk Silk issue number one. Issue one starts off with Silk, but in a different part of America entirely and a different time. This version of Cindy Moon is an LA noir detective and she's on the case looking into some missing children. After taking pictures of the two men shaking hands, she moves in for questioning. But this man is already trying to get her out of his hair, denying even knowing the children in question. So Cindy presses and mentions him doing his shady business behind his gangster boss's back. Knowing what the consequences might be, the suspect reveals the location of the missing child. As Cindy drives off, oddly, some people on the sidewalk are staring her down and it catches her attention. She somehow recognizes the woman on the sidewalk, but she drives on, staying focused. She arrives at the address of this ominous building and as she walks up the stairs, a massive demon attacks from around the corner. But Cindy isn't worried in the slightest. She's dealt with monsters before. But suddenly, the demon fades away before she can web it up. The demon rallies and attacks again. Then something unexpected happens. The two end up outside the building. But deja vu strikes again. Cindy notices something familiar. She's fought this demon before. Only not in her time or her world, and it wasn't her. It was the 616 Silk, and all of a sudden her memory is flooded with memories of exactly how this battle went, and she sees the attacks coming and counters them perfectly, easily beating the monster. This is when so much of her day starts to make more sense. She recognizes the woman as Mrs. Thompson and all the other people who were standing on the block earlier. Then another realization, she's in some type of dream state, but before she can do anything about it, her reality changes. Now she's even further back in time as a cowgirl in the Wild West. This is when another voice cuts in, saying, quote, she's trapped again, that she became aware of what was happening faster than before. This voice is revealed to be Max, the man who has been posing as Cindy's replacement therapist, but only put in place because his sister, Saya, actually was using him to keep tabs on her. And Saya, having no love lost for Cindy, is willing to kill her to get whatever she wants out of this experiment. And that brings us to the end of Silk issue number one of 2023. It was short but sweet. I liked it. My initial concern was the whole multiverse stuff. And obviously we don't really know to what extent it's gonna be a true multiverse story, but has similar vibes either way. Doesn't seem like it's fully there. If I'm being completely honest, most multiverse stories, um, they make me wanna die. Sorry if that offends you. They're honestly right up there with Clone Saga stuff, but either way, this one looks pretty good, especially if it's in a more of a dream state type of thing. I think Emily Kim, obviously having written her before, knowing the character, you know, going off of what Maureen Gu kind of did with establishing the demons and all that stuff, and both doing a really good job focusing on her BPD mental health stuff. I think being in that dream state, dealing with all these different versions of Silk is gonna be really interesting. Obviously there's only about five issues of these, so this won't be long. I would hope that it gets extended. I'm not holding my breath though. If you're a Silk fan, you know like I do that unfortunately this character really doesn't get a lot of love from Marvel or Marvel editorial unless she's in some kind of team up stuff. Uh, she doesn't really get long runs. The longest she's ever had I think was 18 issues. 
So yeah, but either way, we're gonna enjoy it. We're gonna enjoy it for the ride. And I hope that these reaction videos are gonna be more happy than pissed off. I think you do too, especially if you're a Silk fan. So honestly, this is for you. If you're a Silk fan like me, we need more Silk content. So we gotta get it out there. We gotta talk about it. We gotta boost the word of this awesome character. So yeah, at the end of the day, I'm excited for what's to come. I think they set it up really nicely. That's all for me. If you like this video, makes sense give it a like and if you are waiting for the miles morales videos guys you better make sure you're subscribed and if you are subscribed make sure at the bell so you know exactly when that video drops when it drops next week for you and if you just want to talk drop a comment below love to have a chat with you and until then i'll see you in the next one